Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. In this video, I'm going to be putting a uh, oil pan on a 5.7 liter Mercruiser V8. I've already laid out the oil pan gasket, it came in a gasket set. Um, you'll have to watch my first video in this series for the parts, but um, this oil pan came in the gasket set. This is a full engine gasket set, but it wasn't for the marine application. You have to buy the marine uh, head gasket separately. So anyway, the, uh, this is the oil pan gasket and I'm just laid it on here as a test fit. And uh, there may be some questionable, it might be questionable up here in the front. It's, it's kind of, it's gonna be, have to squeeze down a little bit to fit on this uh, timing cover. This is not the original timing cover. I was told by the company that sold it to me that it would work the same as the uh, plastic one, but we'll see about that. So at this time, I'm gonna put gray silicone sealant in this corner, this corner underneath. I'm gonna uh, put a, a significant amount right in there, right in there. I'm gonna smear it across the top. I'm not gonna put it down the sides at all. I'm gonna put some back in that corner, in that corner, and across the top of the, uh, not the gasket, but the, uh, the uh, rear main seal part there, underneath there, and then lay this in there, and then I'll put the gasket seal on top of it too. But I do that with all of my engines. I don't, you don't have to do the size because they're not necessarily prone to leaking, but you have, you're, you're prone to leak in your corners and at your low points on your, uh, where the oil would settle in your oil pan. All right, I now have silicone seal it in the uh, corners of this uh, Mercury 5.7. I wanted to point out something before I lay the pan gasket back on. Um, over here in the corner, sometimes the paper gasket will stick up past the surface of the block here, and you want a smooth transition from this piece, this aluminum piece here to the steel. So what I do is I take a razor blade and just slice that gasket so that it's flush with this surface here. So you don't, you don't want that piece of paper sticking up and hitting the rubber gasket and possibly causing a leak point. So I, uh, I've already taken a razor blade and, and uh, cut that one flush. Over here, I didn't have that problem, so I uh, didn't have to cut this one, but... Oh, there I did have to cut it and now that I've cut it I'm gonna put the uh, there's a metal stud that goes in that hole right there I'm about to put the metal stud in I had to take it out in order to cut it with the razor blade so I have to put the metal stud I'll then lay the gasket in, on, in place okay I've now put the silicone in the corners as I said across the top on both sides that's the front and on the back same thing silicone in the corners across the bottom across the uh, gasket there and then in the corners again so I'm now about to place the uh, oil pan on, on the engine and then uh, bolt it down. Um, one thing I'll make a point about, this uh, winded tray, I like this design a lot better. In the old days, before they had this, the, uh, there was a baffle, a steel baffle that was inside the oil pan. And the baffle, you had to work the pan on such that the, you'd have to work this pickup, um, the baffle underneath, where, where it'll be actually on top of the pickup, but um, when you put it in the upside down, it's, on, it's underneath. But, the baffle would have to be slid underneath this pickup so the uh, pickle would be underneath the baffle. It was a pain in the butt. The new old pan is, there's nothing in the way. You just lower it right in place and start buttoning it up. So that's a very interesting, I, they probably designed it way to speed up the efficiency of manufacturing, but it was, it's a good design. So about to place the old pan in place and then I'll put all the screws in. By the way, you don't, you don't button down any screws, you don't tighten any of them until all of them are in place so that you uh, you don't want to have the gasket locked down where you, the gasket can't shift to get the hole lined up. The oil pan is now installed and um, all the bolts have been torqued down. The uh, the four uh, four corner bolts are, uh, I think they're 5 16th size and they, according to the specs I have, they're supposed to be 15, excuse me, 18 foot pounds here and here. And 18 foot pounds on that nut. This is a stud and a nut. And there's another stud and nut there. The nuts get 18 foot pounds, and these bolts up here get 18 foot pounds. Actually, I've got substitute bolts. I've got to find the right bolts to put in there later. Um, so each of these smaller bolts, I think, uh, well, I don't think I know. I've torqued them down to 106 inch pounds. I felt like that might have been a little high, but that's what the specification said. This gasket has uh, little metal rings around each hole, so that keeps the uh, gasket being over compressed. So I guess that's why they have you torque it down so tight. So I just wanna show how it turns out. Um, looks like the silicone got squeezed out in the corner, so that's a good sign. Get squeezed out there, and then it got squeezed out there. And then in the back, again, it squeezed out in the corner there and squeeze out in the corner there. So that, that's a good sign that uh, everything's sealed up because it uh, compressed and pushed the seal down. 
So this time, I guess the, uh, the oil pan's installed. Um, one thing I want to mention, there's a lot of work that goes up behind the scenes that I don't show on a video, um, namely cleaning. This oil pan is uh, clean enough to eat off of. Of course, I wouldn't need to do that, but um, I'm, a, I'm kind of a slob when it comes to maintaining my shop, but I, I would like to clean parts. I do not like building engines with oil on them or grease or smudges. So I clean the parts primarily with shout, but if it's a heavy stain, I use uh, gunk. But I clean the parts till they're squeaky clean and then I'll put it together because so, I just don't like messing with the uh, oily parts, especially when I'm putting together a new engine. So this engine is now ready to flip back over and I'm going to put the cylinder head on the uh, starboard side and then take it outside to paint it. Thanks for watching the video. If you found this information beneficial or uh, enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel.